call this a quarter final relegation playoff both teams out on the pitch now we just have been notified that there are some changes on both sides we will play we will start with the team who are at home and it just sees one change from the match program so the team in full for Cavan wearing their uh, traditional blue and white in goals it's Elaine Walsh full back line of Rachel Doonan Shauna Lynch and Murren Smith. Half-back line of Sinead Green, Laura Fitzpatrick and Mona Sheridan. In the middle of the park, it's Catherine Dolan and Nyasa Bird. Half-forward line, Avin Kiernan, Ashling Sheridan. Kira Finnegan does not play. She was lined out, but she is not starting. In comes Lauren McVitie. Then it's Neve Kinahan, Geraldine Sheridan and Ashling gil Sinan. So we are a, about to get underway. We have going to have a minute silence but before that we'll just quickly run through the Monaghan team which shows three changes from the match program. In goals it's Edel Corrigan, Babe Monaghan does not play, in comes number 24 Rachel McGuigan, full back it's Nicola Fahey and Aoife McInespy, Shauna Coyle and Abby McCary do not start at five and six, in comes number 22 which is Jennifer Duffy and number 17, Rosemary Courtney. Then it's Emer Trainer at 7, Cora Courtney and Maureen Atkinson at 8 and 9. Laura McEnany, Ellen McCarn and Lauren Gartland make up 10, 11, 12. And inside, Casey Trainer, Kira McInespy and Amy Gartland doesn't play. In comes number 30, Lauren Jones. We'll stop, pause here for a minute's silence. Yeah, the minute silence there for Brendan O'Duffy, Killian Casey and Natasha Core. And we are going to pause now for Aron Nevian. Being there, ask, getting belted out over Kingspan, Breffney Park. We are about to get underway. It is the final match here. That's between Neighbours, Cavan and Monaghan in Group 1, Round 3 of the TG Cahar All-Ireland Senior Football Championship. And what a huge game this is in terms of ramifications for both these counties. Both sides currently on zero points, so this is a huge match, and the losers will go into the dreaded relegation playoffs. 
They will take place in the next number of weeks. Cavan down to our right-hand side, warming up. Monaghan down to our left-hand side, splendid conditions. Took a walk on the pitch right before throw-in, and really, it could not be more immaculate. Just looking at it here, some latest scores coming through from some other matches uh, in Tumen County. Galway, Donegal 2-9. Kerry seven points that uh, has huge ramifications also that means Kerry could be in the relegation playoffs as well of course Tyrone taking on Waterford as well the last we heard there Waterford the Dacia County were a cruising so Cavan just get out of their pre-match huddle and we are about to get underway of course Armagh defeated Mayo earlier on today that one took place at two o'clock so Armagh top the group Mayo in second on six points and whatever happens here today there has to be a winner in the event of a draw it will go to extra time and possibly free kicks our match referee is Gavin Finnegan from the Enraith Club in County Down he's really experienced referee refereed seven or eight matches this year already so we are about to get underway Cavan will be hit Kicking from left to right. Monaghan from right to left. A huge, huge encounter. Gavin Finnegan. And on our near side, our fourth official today is Declan Carlin from County Down as well. And Grania Sands from County Down. She's from the Glen Club. And Mary Brady from Carrick Macross. She is the lineswoman on this near side. As Gavin Finnegan looks at his watch. We can see straight away the Monaghan number 11 has went into the throw-in. Uh, it's Ellen McCarn, And there we are. We are underway. And straight away, it's Cavan in possession. Good work there as Gavin Finnegan puts up his arms. And it's going to be a free to the Brefney County. Good work there from Nasa Bird. Uh, she's a primary school teacher. So a free to Cavan just inside the Monaghan half. She goes short on this occasion to Lauren McVitie. She ha really has a super left foot, but she's a long way from goal. Plays the ball inside, but Monaghan funneling bodies behind the ball. Picked up here by Nyasa Bird once again. Just goes short to Lauren McVitie. Her second possession already, and I mentioned she's a sweet left foot. And well, she just duly obliges on that occasion. She strikes that one over, and that is a super, super score from Lauren McVitie after just 55 seconds. She was under pressure when she took that one on, but it really mattered really little. As Monaghan now coming um, up, come up rather foraging up the far side. That's a good pass inside. Oh, and it's such a bright opening to this contest. And the Monaghan ladies restore parity. A really good ball inside there. And it was Kira McInespy who came on to it. She made the space and she slotted that one over with relative ease and we are all square. Of course, Kira McInespy just back from injury. What a key player she is for this Monaghan side. A bright opening here in Kingspan Breffney Park. Small crowd. It's picked up here. Good work here from the Cavan ladies. The ball is fed inside to Neve Kinahan. Goes long. Good moving there from the Cavan forward. Oh, and there's a goal chance here, is there? Was there a pull on the back of the jersey, though? As Ashling Gilsinanen uh, passed that one through, and she was fouled, and it's going to be a free and a free to Cavan. But such an open, bright start here. Played two minutes, one point apiece. Some excellent work there from Cavan. The Cavan inside forward line. The referee doing really well. He waited to see uh, for the play to develop, and then he dragged it back for a free. So. The, it's going to be a free to Cavan on the 21 metre line and a chance for Jerry Moon's side to take a two points to one lead and you would expect this one to be slotted over with relative ease so as I said earlier on Armada defeating Mayo they're on nine points Mayo are next on six and in the other group Meath last night they defeated Tipperary 118 to seven points so Cork top that group Meath comes second and Tipperary we know they will be in the relegation semi-final so a chance here for the blue and white to put that one over and Ashling Gilsinen 
Julie obliges. That one slotted over. That's two for Cavan, one for Monaghan. The Monaghan goalkeeper, Edel Corrigan from Scottstown, goes short. Finds a Monaghan player, but that's good work there from the Cavan full forward line. Pressing high on the Monaghan kick out. Here's the Monaghan fullback from Emmy Vale, Nicola Fahey. She lays the ball off to number nine, Maureen Atkinson from Neil Shamrock's club. This is good work here from the Monaghan ladies driving forward, but that's just a loose pass on this occasion. And the Cavan ladies can clear their lines with Cora Courtney now. Or rather, sorry, uh, Catherine Dolan, my apologies. Cavan now trying to launch an attack of their own from the back with number 13, Neve Kinahan. She's fouled and it's going to be a free. Of course, Kira Finnegan not starting and the only change on the Cavan team in, uh, and in Kim Lauren McVitie wearing number 30 and she got the match's first score. Pass inside, two on one situation. But it's going to be snubbed up here, snubbed out here by Jennifer Duffy and it's going to be a free. A free to Monaghan, deep inside their own half with Aoife McInespy getting tackled there. Referee puts up, ar- puts up his arms. Going to see how play develops but looking okay here for Monaghan with Cora Courtney. She's going to go long inside on this occasion. Really well won there by Kira McInespy. She got Monaghan's only score so far. Lays the ball off. It's a really good counter-attack, but I think that one does it. Yeah, just creeps in to the left and wide. It remains Cavan to Monaghan. One we have played coming up on five minutes. So kick out here for the Cavan goalkeeper, Elaine Walsh. One here by Monaghan's corner forward, Casey Trainer. She lays the ball off. And a chance for this one to restore parity. Yes, that one is slotted over and it comes from the midfielder, Cora Courtney. Excellent score. Of course, she has a club at All Ireland with, with the Donna Moyne club and various All Stars. What a talent she is. And she was injured earlier on in the year when these sides met in the National League in Division 2. Of course, Cavan going all the way that time to the National League semi-final. Some intricate passing here. Ball played inside, but really good tackling. by the Monaghan defence, but Gavin Finnegan didn't think so. And he's going to give a free, and a free to Cavan. And a chance to take a three points to two lead, about 25, 26 metres out from goal. Just conditions could not be more perfect. And I think most people would agree on one of the best surfaces in the country. Of course, it was relayed and done up after the county final back in 2018. As the strike comes in, that's Cavan 3, Monaghan 2. So really bright opening to this contest. Cavan have pushed up on the kickouts once again. As Monaghan try and launch an attack deep inside their own half, down the stand side here of Kingston. Breathney Park, but good work there by Lauren McVitie. Monaghan have left two forwards inside, but they're coming forward now with Merlin Atkinson. She goes long, but that's really good defensive work there from the Cavan rear guard. Picked up here by their number three, Shauna Lynch. She goes short, so Cavan three, Monaghan two. See, Cavan ladies try and launch an attack of their own. We'll try and bring you some of the scores from the other matches as well. That's good work there by Nasa Bird. Breaking into the Monaghan half. And yeah, she is of a carry possession, so it's going to be a free and free out to Monaghan. Long ball coming down this near side. Monaghan have left two forwards inside. Cavan now funneling bodies back. It's with Laura McEnany from the Cordoff Club, whose daughter of Banty de Monaghan's men's manager, and they won themselves a free, so it's going to be a free, and a free into Monaghan, a chance to bring this game back level again. Again, seven and a half minutes gone, Cavan three, Monaghan two. This one about three, four metres, well, no, it's going to be brought further in, rather. That's where the ball ended up, so it's going to be a chance for Corda Courtney. About 25, 26 metres out. It's great to see both sides playing such an attacking game. Both sides leaving three, four, 
three or four forwards and the opposition's 21 at all times as the strike comes in there and that's not Courtney's best ever strike and it goes to the right and wide so that's Monaghan's second wide test as Cavan go short with the kick out one here by Mora, Mona Sheridan laying off possession good work here from the Cavan defence it's with their centre half back Laura Fitzpatrick where she the captain of the side goes to number 11 Ashling Sheridan what a player she is for Cavan of course she will be going back to Collingwood in Australia and she wins herself a free just as she put possession off there to Catherine Dolan but it's all in vain because it's going to be a free Gavin Finnegan calling it back and it's going to be a free to Cavan just inside the Monaghan 45 and a chance here to bring it to double scores and it's going to be number 15 Ashling Gil Sennon taking this one about 43 44 metres out dead straight in front of the post coming up here on 9 minutes and 20 seconds gone so this would be a huge kick if she was to slot this one over oh it's going to I was going to say it's going to lob dangerously in there but Cavan unable to get bodies around it and it was easily dealt with by the Monaghan goalkeeper but Monaghan lose possession and it's won here by Neve Kinahan and she slots that one over and after all that it is double scores it's Cavan 4, Monaghan 2 and the Breffney County will be delighted with their start, Monaghan getting away the kick out with Edel Corrigan but referee Gavin Finnegan just calling it back so it's going to be a restart once again, she goes short on this occasion to Jennifer Duffy she manages to get possession off, Cavan will be delighted with their start the when they push up there, causing this Monaghan defence all sorts of problems. It's with Rosemary Courtney, but she's fouled. It's Jennifer Duffy holding possession. She's just going to leave it off now to Rosemary Courtney. So free to Monaghan just inside their own half. Cavan going with the full press as possession is laid off to the wing back. Emer Trainer from the Dunamoyne Club as well. Pass inside here to Lauren. Laura McEnany, rather, this is nice, intricate passing. But the Farney ladies end up losing possession. And it's number 10, uh, Evin Kiernan, clearing the line. She gets it off and tackling coming in there from the Monaghan players. But Kevin Finnegan says there was an infringement there, so it's going to be a free and a free to Kevin. Some of the Monaghan management team not too happy with the referee on this occasion there's a Cavan player down receiving some medical attention now just hard to see with the medic right in front of me so just can't see who's down but she's down on her knees at the moment so Gavin Finnegan just stopping play momentarily so 11 minutes and 20 seconds gone and from commentating on matches all year in both men and ladies these conditions make it very very difficult for our players and this one has started at a frantic pace so it'll be interesting to see can both sides keep up what has been an electric start to this one as Cavan now they've left two forwards inside it's with their centre half back and captain Laura Fitzpatrick she's a primary school teacher getting off possession there but that's good tackling there from Monaghan but it's still in the arms of Cavan lady and not only that but they've won themselves a free and a chance here to take a 5 points to 2 lead although it is quite a distance out about 42, 43 metres out and Lauren McVitie goes short but it doesn't work out on this occasion with the Monaghan wing back now Emer Trainer down this near side with the corner back Aoife McInespy coming forward excellent tackling once again from Cavan showing huge hunger and determination with Murren Atkinson She's a secondary school teacher as well, getting off possession to Lauren Jones, foraging into the Cavan 25 metre line, goes short to the Monaghan full forward. And is that Kira McInesby's second score? It's not. That one goes to the left and wide. That's Monaghan's third wide. Cavan goes short, getting away their kick out successfully yet again. Monaghan have pressed high now. That's good tackling there from. Ellen McCarn, but the referee didn't think so, and it's going to be a free and a free to Cavan. 
coming up here on 13 minutes. We'll be going for the water break in around three or four minutes at time. And usually it's the team with momentum that doesn't like the water break coming. So a stray pass there. One here by Cora Courtney. She plays a quick one, two. It's in the arms now of Laura McEnany. And she's just pushed to the ground unceremoniously. And it's going to be a free and a free to Monaghan. Dead straight in front of the post. I think Gavin Finnegan is going to have a word there. I don't know who's calling over. Is it the Cavan cornerback, Marin Smith? I didn't see him brandishing a yellow card. So the latest score we had from Tyrone Waterford was Waterford 316, Tyrone 11 points. So it looks like Waterford, or Tyrone rather, will be in the relegation playoff and that one just slotted over by Ellen McCarn Monaghan's top scorer in the championship so far, she got 10 against my own, 6 against Arma. that's her 17th of this year's championship Cavan getting their kick out away once again and there's going to be a free there so back to the minimum here once again in Kingspan Breffney Park, Cavan 4 points Monaghan 3 points free to Cavan, deep inside their own half so Tipperary are going to be in the relegation playoffs. Tyrone are going to be there as well. And the losers of Donegal and Kerry. And so far, when we heard from Tune was Donegal were leading that one. So Kerry looked to be in a little bit of trouble. Cavan are not in trouble here. This is a really nice move involving a number of players. And eventually, Lauren McVitie, she slots that one over her sister, Dara McVitie. What a player he is. And... She really has just a wand of a left foot. So successful, of course. Uh, All-Ireland A-Schools title with Loretto as well. Came up against um, the Monaghan um, successful school team as well. As I'm just looking down here, I think there's going to be a change here on the Monaghan team as Monaghan come forward. Cavan 3, Cavan 5 rather, Monaghan 3. As Gavin Finnegan says that... Ellen McCarran, she overcarries that one, so it's going to be a free to Cavan deep inside their own half. 15 and a half minutes gone. I think we will be going for a water break really shortly. So a good bright start here for the Breffney ladies. As Monaghan were warming up a substitute there. That just took my eye off the match there for just a couple of seconds. Here's Ka Cavan's midfielder, Catherine Dolan, getting off possession there to Neve Kinahan. She's a dual star, of course, breaking into the Monaghan 45 metre line, just following the play. Gavin Finnegan sees some holding off the ball, and he's going to award a free to Cavan on the 21 metre line. Monaghan defender on that occasion, Rachel McGuigan, not too happy with the referee. I was following the play, I have to say, I didn't see it, so. But it doesn't really matter at this stage. What matters is there's a chance here for Cavan to bring this one to double scores. 21 metres out to the left of the post. No breeze, breeze here in Cavan. And that one is slotted over. Another really good score for Cavan. They're motoring really, really well here. And super, super start for them. So we are going for a water break. Uh, referee Gavin Finnegan blowing it up there with 16 minutes and 40 seconds gone. A really bright opening here. As I can see, well, Kerry, the ladies have reduced the arrears. That one in Tume. In Group 4, it is now Donegal, two goals and 11 points. Kerry, two goals and nine points. So it looks like that one is going to go to the wire. Donegal were cruising in that one. But Kerry have hit back with a couple of goals. So, yeah, Donegal, I think we're nine points up in that contest as both teams taking on plenty of fluid. It really is badly needed. It's so difficult for any teams playing in this weather. Just obviously not used to it in Ireland. But as referee just going in to talk to the fourth official, Declan Coulter there. I want to say a big... Thanks to Mick Bracken on the line and, of course, Rory O'Brien, who's a producer, director, and Kerry, yeah, Kerry have got another one back. So Donegal 2-11, Kerry 2-9. As I said, these sides met in the league earlier on this year. 
Cavan overcoming Monaghan that time by seven points. Of course, Monaghan winners of the All-Ireland on two occasions back in 1996 and 1997. What a side that was. Of course, Brenda McInespy. A couple of daughters playing here, Aoife and Kira McInespy. And of course, brother Ryan then plays for the Monaghan senior team who will take on the men's Tyrone in the Ulster final next weekend. So here, Cavan 6, Monaghan 3. We are just at the end of the water break. It's supposed to be one minute. I think we went a little bit over it on this occasion. So it's going to be Monaghan with the restart with Edel Corrigan from the Scotstown Club. Putting, she is going, that's an excellent pass. Super stuff there from the Monaghan net minder. Trying to build an attack here is Laura McEnany. She goes short. Surely there's a foul there. Referee says yes, so it's going to be a free to Monaghan just inside the cavern. Have gonna it's gonna be Laura McEnany who's going to take this one, wanting to get on with it quickly, but referee instead wants to I think are we going to see a card here? I think we are taking his time the referee. And he bandages a yellow card. I have to say, for more vantage point, that looked a little bit harsh, but it's always at the discretion of the referee. And it's Ashling Sheridan. What a loss that's going to be. So, 10 minutes for Ashling Sheridan. She is absolutely furious with that, just pleading her innocence. As Monaghan now can, with Lauren Jones coming forward, she goes short, it comes now to the corner back, this would be a terrific score if it goes over but it goes to the left and wide, Monaghan not as economical as they can be, that's their fourth wide Cavan just one wide, long kick out coming here and I don't know what the ref's going to do here he's going to give a free to Cavan Deep inside their own half. It is Cavan six points, Monaghan three points. Great opening. There's another tackle going in there from the Monaghan cornerback, Maeve Monaghan. And if we're not happy, some Cavan players not happy with that one either. So he's going to bring it forward into the 45 meter line. In a much more advanced position. And Ashling Sheridan just wasn't happy. So 10 minutes in the Sindon for Ashling as the free is going to be taken here by Lauren McVitie but it doesn't work out and Monaghan can clear their line some good tackling there from Cavan but referee is given a free and it's going to be Jennifer Zoffy getting on with this one quickly it's virtually impossible with the sun the way it's beaming down to see some of the numbers on these jerseys that's good tackling there from the Breffney ladies once again but it works out okay for Monaghan in the end as Mona Sheridan trying to get in the tackle here oh there's a chance of a goal for Monaghan but the shot is half blocked and eventually the cabin can try and clear their lines it was excellent work there and it was Ellen McCarn who got in the shot but her shot was blocked Cavan getting a number of bodies back I think it was the goalkeeper who got the final touch on it but Monaghan uh, have overturned it once again it's with Rosemary Courtney um, desperate from, for some scores before half time with Ellen McCarn lateral pass but it's a really intelligent one goes to the midfielder Murren Atkinson that one goes high the umpires deliberate for a couple of seconds but it goes to the left and wide that's, their, that's Monaghan's fifth wide and I think they've all been on this near side here kicking from right to left and as I said earlier on no breeze here so it won't have any ramifications uh, for the second half as Cavan now try and come forward but Monaghan getting loads of bodies in around the ball it's with the wing back now Emer trainer she lays off she lays off possession to Nicola Fahey usually the marker in this Monaghan side she's going to go to Ellen McCarn who's never afraid to take on a shot and that's Monaghan's sixth wide what a talent Ellen McCarn is as I said Monaghan's top scorer so far in this year's championship and it's a great sign in a player 
in any code in hurling or football men's or ladies when they miss one or two they're not afraid to take on a couple of shots Monaghan pressing high on the kick out got a touch in it but falls to a Cavan woman I uh, thought that was good tackling there from Monaghan but the referee didn't think so so it's going to be a free to Cavan deep inside their own half it's double scores here Cavan 6 points Monaghan 3 points with the Cavan goalkeeper Elaine Walsh who has been the netminder for the blue and white for the last number of years although they're having to win in this year's championship Cavan they will feel that they are making a lot of progression and as I said earlier as I outlined Cavan had a good league campaign making it to the semi-finals it's with their full back Shauna Lynch but the referee said that she must have barged her way through that time so it's going to be a free to Monaghan on the Cavan 45 metre line about 9 minutes to go here to half time as referee's going to is he don't think he's going to brandish a card here is he unless there was some back chat so a chance here for the Farney ladies and it's going to be number 3 Shauna Walsh and well the Cavan management are irate with that so Shauna Walsh will go into the sin bin for 10 minutes as well so Cavan down to 13 here remarkable unless it was some afters after and the latest score coming from Chum, Chum Donegal to 13 Kerry two goals and nine points and I think four minutes remaining in that one so it looks like Kerry are going to be in the relegation semi-finals Cavan now two players in the sin bin as Mo Monaghan come and barking down the far side is at the wing forward Laura McEnany from Cardoff she fists that one over that's a good score and brings reduces the arrears back to two Cavan six points Monaghan four points it's going to be a Lynn watch with the restart here so at the moment we know that Tipper Tipperary are definitely going to be in the relegation playoffs and Tyrone and it's looking like Kerry and the losers of this one. Of course, the top two from each group will make it through to the semi-finals. So high press here coming on from Monaghan once again, but a Cavan lady goes to ground. So we're going to have a free to Cavan deep inside their own half. Impossible for my vantage point to see who is down as the medic comes on here just to... Cavan player, two Cavan players around her so my apologies I just can't see from where I'm sitting here, impossible to see some of the numbers here as well but a bright opening to this contest, Cavan 6 Monaghan 4 and we, Cavan lady still down getting attention, some of the Monaghan substitutes warming up here down to our left hand side both management teams just having a little bit of a chat here. The ground playing really, really fast indeed. It's such a hard ground here, but I think most players that play here really, really enjoy it. Two huge squads here, two very powerful squads as well. So I don't think neither management team will be afraid to use the bench. Of course, it was rolling subs throughout the National League, but not anymore. Back to just five substitutes. You could make as many substitutes as you wanted during the National League and opinion was pretty it was uh, divided on that one from various management it seems hand goes up from the referee we'll see how this develops if Monaghan win it I think he will call it back but no he's going to play from where the ball landed so that worked out well enough for Cavan coming up on the to the 25th minute so 5 minutes or thereabouts and then of course we'll have a couple of minutes extra that Gavin Finnegan will add on of course he stops his watch as we're going to have a free here to Cavan calling for it is Catherine Dolan just finished studying in UCD she manages to lay off possession but that's better there from the Monaghan defence and some late hits coming in you would know that this is a huge huge derby between these sides good work there laying off possession is the cornerback Aoife McInespy she picks up possession once again, racing into the 
Cavan, 23-24 metre lines with the Monaghan corner forward. She lays off possession. Is there a chance here of a goal? But it's number 17. She goes high. It's Rosemary Courtney finding some space. And she just puts her arms on top of her head because that one goes to the right and wide. I make that wide number seven for Monaghan. So they will be disappointed with some of their shooting. Now, some of them, they were under pressure when they were taking on their shots. Cavan much more economical, just one wide for them so far, but the score that matters, the stat that matters is Cavan six points, Monaghan four, won here by the wing back Mona Sheridan, one of three sisters of course on this Cavan side, and she's fouled as Gavin Finnegan, he's going to talk to the lineswoman on the far side, Rania Gronya Sands rather, from the Glen Club in County Down, picking, up, picking it up here is Geraldine Sheridan coming really deep for it. Now it's with Lauren McVitie. Cavan working this one competently. Yeah, full time coming from Tume. Donegal 213, Kerry two goals and nine. And as I read out that scoreline, we're going to have a free. There was a foul came in there by a Monaghan defender, so we're going to have a free and a free to Cavan about 25, 26 metres out. So Kerry are definitely going to be in the relegation playoff and some strong sides there and you just never know when you get to that stage it'll come down to a really really fine margins Cavan will be quite happy with their start here in this one as we're just over the 27 minutes mark and that is an excellent score there that one kicked over by Ashling Gilsinen so that's another one for her. She got a goal in the league game against Monaghan a couple of months ago. And that really was a fine, fine strike. Just a second the post to perfection. Cavan leading by three once again. But it's the Farney ladies in possession now with Murren Atkinson. Played with Ashling Sheridan in DCU as Monaghan come up the far side but some of the tackling here from the Cavan defence is something to behold but Monaghan managed to get off their pass on this occasion to the corner forward she goes high it's Casey Trainer from Scotstown but that one is well dealt with there by Elaine Walsh in the Cavan goal but Monaghan have won possession once again Cavan now trying to get bodies back it's with Cora Courtney good patient work here from the Monaghan midfielder happy to hold on to it and just to wait and see and try and carve out and open and she gets away her pass thought there was a little tug in the jersey there oh and the referee's given it the other way I thought Rosemary Courtney was fouled there and some of the Monaghan substitutes not too happy with that one probably a 50-50 but the referee has given it to Cavan so it's going to be a free to Cavan of course we're in their traditional blue and white while Monaghan in the white and blue so free to Cavan deep inside their own half the next couple of scores could be crucial before half time as Ashley Sheridan comes back on to the park laying off possession there good work from Sheridan Cavan back to 14 of course their full back still out Shauna Lynch, good tackling there from Monaghan, oh, but it's illegal and it's going to be a free and pleading her innocence there is Laura McEnany, so free to Cavan, just inside the Monaghan half with Rachel Doonan she is a cousin first cousin of the legend Ashley Doonan good work here from the Breffney ladies as their foul came in there no the wing back manages to lay off possession it's with Sheridan she's 21 metres out from goal turns one way strikes another that is a super super score excellent work there from the lady who has played two full seasons in Australia in the AFL and she is going back as well so that's a super super score and it's double scores once again Cavan doing really well here on the Monaghan kick out it's with Ashling Gil Sinan oh it's opened up here there's a goal chance here for Cavan oh it comes off the crossbar had the goalkeeper beat but 
couldn't beat the crossbar, but Cavan, can they get something out of it? They certainly can, and it's Geraldine Sheridan. She strikes that one over. She makes no mistake. She got two goals in the league meeting a couple of months ago, but that point will be as important a score as she will get this year. Super stuff, and Cavan lead by five. Cavan nine points, Monaghan four points. Well... What a goal opportunity that was, but just coming off the crossbar, but at least they got something out of it. And as I said so many times in this commentary, Cavan doing really, really well on the Monaghan kickout, but the Farney ladies managed to retrieve possession. And from their point of view, hopefully clear their lines with Laura McEnany coming deep to win this one as the tackle comes in there from Evening. Kiernan, not sure what the referee sees there. No, he's blowing for half time. Yeah, just a minute and a half added on. There you have it. A wonderful first half for the home side here. Cavan lead by five. Cavan nine points. Monaghan four points. Monaghan have had seven wides, though. Cavan with only one. And remember, Cavan for ten minutes of that contest. Well, they were without Ashling Sheridan and their fullback Sean Lynch. So there you have it. Half time here in Kingspan, Brefney Park, in Group One, Round Three of the TG Cahar All Ireland Senior Football Championship. The losers will go into the relegation semi-final playoffs. Rejoin us in around 13 or 14 minutes' time for live second half coverage. Back in the early 90s getting off possession, that is superb work, Monaghan pressing high, it's played here at a frantic pace and that's won there by Kira McInespy from Emmyville, getting off possession there to Lauren Jones who finds the cornerback up at second, Maeve Monaghan from the Aerog Club, she's a student in DCU, Monaghan trying to probe here and trying to reduce the arrears to four points but some of Cavan's tackling has been something to behold. Long kick comes in there. This is easily dealt with by Elaine Walsh. Oh, and Cavan loses once again. Monaghan desperate to get a score out of this. Back with Cora Courtney, but she's been pushed out almost to the 45 metre line. She goes short. A couple of Monaghan players screaming for it. One of them is the wing back, Shauna Coyle. She goes back to Lauren. Jones, Cavan getting 12, 13 bodies though behind the ball. Eventually there's a lateral pass there looking for Rosemary Courtney. Thought about the shot there momentarily. Thought about it once again, but instead goes for a better option. But the shot comes in there and it's going to go aimlessly out to the right and wide. I make that eight wides for Monaghan, but some excellent work there at the back from Cavan. And their management team will be delighted with that. Of course, Cavan under the stewardship of Jerry Moan. He was, he's managed so many teams, of course, Tyrone a couple of years ago when they lost to Cork in the All-Ireland Series. He was also with the Fermanagh men's team back in the early nods when they made it all the way to the All-Ireland semi-final with the Cavan fullback here, Sean Lynch, who was spent 10 minutes of the first half and the start of the second half in the Sinbin, but she's back on and she gives away a free, which is going to be taken quickly here by Ellen McCarn, who works as a secondary school teacher. This looks prom promising for the Farney ladies. The strike comes in. I think we're back to a four-point game. We certainly are. It's Laura McEnany. She dissects the post. Cavan, ten points. Monaghan, six points. We've played five and a half minutes of the second half. Elaine Walsh looking for a number of players to make a run. But referee Gavin Finnegan, not sure what he's were the Monaghan players too close possibly to the Cavan net minder? I was just looking out the pitch to see who is making a run so it's take two for Elaine Walsh she's going to go straight out the middle, tussle there for possession, won by the Monaghan wing back Shauna Coyle but it's illegal so it's going to be a free taken here by Avon Kiernan, seen more of the ball in the second half into the Monaghan 45 metre line. It's with Ashling Gill Sinan. She looks for the pass inside. Oh, terrific pass inside, but just an awkward bounce there for Geraldine Sheridan, trying to get away from two, three Monaghan ladies. Eventually ships off possession. Back to Ashling 
Pacquiao Sinan, but unfortunately for her, and unfortunately for Cavan, that one goes to the left and wide. That's Cavan's third wide of this contest. Only one in the first half and two in the second half. Monaghan with eight. It remains Cavan, ten points. Monaghan, six points. Both sides doing really, really well on the opposition kickouts, but on this occasion, Monaghan managed to work it up competently it's with their midfielder she's just lays off possession it was Murren Atkinson getting it to Laura McEnany who in turn looks for Shauna Coy from the Latin club but she loses it and Cavan have overturned possession Mona Sheridan now racing in to the Monaghan half she's putting in a Trojan amount of work to Cavan supporters and management team saying she took a hit as she passed it as possession is laid off there by Geraldine Sheridan, but we're going to come back for a free and a free to the Breffney County. A couple of fouls went in there, and it's going to be a free just to the left of the post, and I would imagine it's going to be Ashley Gilsinan who's going to take this one. Referee just calling it back, yeah. Wearing number 15, she's about two, three, four metres inside the Monaghan 45 metre line and a chance for Cavan to take a five point lead once again it was nine points to four remember at half time as the strike comes in there and it's going to be dealt with by Edel Corrigan she goes short Monon trying to get on with things quickly they need scores still plenty of time though remaining one there by the Monaghan midfielder picking up possession is Cora Courtney as they try and launch an attack from the back. It's with Shauna Coy just going short on this occasion, making a run as Kira McInesby. Twin, of course, of Aoife. She goes long. That's a next and pass inside to Rosemary Courtney. Trying to get around one woman, two woman. Takes in the strike. Oh, and it comes off the post, and this could fall anywhere. Falls to a Cavan lady, but they end up losing possession. A chance here for... Monaghan, but it goes straight into the arms there of Elaine Walsh. As Cavan now trying to come out with it, some heavy tackling coming in there. Referee puts up his arms. Whatever happens, we're going to go back for advantage. I would imagine that's advantage over. As he's got the arm up once again, and it's going to be a free and a free to Cavan. And it's going to be taken by Rachel Doonan. Just inside our own half here on the stand side of Kingspan Brefney Park, we have a substitute. Coming on, yeah, it's going to be number 10 making way, Evie Kiernan. And coming into the fray, it is Kira Finnegan, who was uh, in the programme to start this contest, but she was the only change then in this cabin team. She made way for Lauren McVitie. So Kira Finnegan is on. She is a dual star, plays Komogi for Cavan as well. She's a student in DCU and uh, all-star to her name as well so a really good substitute to come on some of the Cavan people I spoke to be right before throwing were surprised she wasn't starting Monaghan have won possession with Laura McEnany sprinting into the Cavan 21 meter line and there's a foul comes in there an infringement so it's going to be a free and a free in to Monaghan and a chance to bring this back to a three point game I have to say, considering the conditions, both sides still able to play at a frantic pace. OK, it's, it's low scoring, but some of the intensity and some of the tackles going in from both sides has been nothing short of superb. As the strike comes in there, we are back to a three-point game, and it's Ellen McCarran who puts that one over. Of course, she is a sister of Jack McCarran and daughter of the famous Ray McCarran. Cavan 10, Monaghan 7, kick out. Going to be won here by Cavan's number 13, Neve Kenahan. She goes short, but that's much better tackling there from the Farney ladies on this occasion. And it's won here by Lauren Jones. Darts into the Cavan half. Lays off possession to Rosemary Courtney. She'll take on the strike. Oh, it's going to be really close. Yes, it comes off the post. It looked over when she first struck that one but it was just veering to the left and eventually just hooked off the post and there's a cabin lady down there so we're going to have a free now and a free out to cabin some of the cabin management calling for uh, a card but 
It's going to be a freak. Having 10 points. Morning, 7 points. Morning just with a little bit of momentum at the start of the second half. But like most Monaghan and Cavan matches in any grade, whether it's underage or men's or ladies, there's rarely much between the sides. Cavan lady, impossible to see from my vantage point. He was down injured. There's a... There is... A, I think it's is it number two. Yeah, I think it's number two. Rachel Doonan, who is down, uh, receiving some medical attention. So the clock will be stopped here. As the referee, he's going to take the name of is it Cora Courtney? She's the player closest to the man in the middle, and it's a yellow card. So Monaghan will be down to 10 ladies for the next 10 minutes Courtney just pleading her innocent there innocence rather with the umpire but uh, it's all in vain from a Monaghan point of view so Monaghan down to 10 players now Cavan dealt with they were down to 13 players at one stage in the first half both Shauna Lynch and Ashling Sheridan both receiving yellow cards and both were in the sin bin at different stages but there was about a six minute overlap there where they were down to 13 players and Monaghan are now down to 14 players and you'd imagine with the, the heat and just the, the frantic nature of this one that will be a big big disadvantage for Monaghan played 12 minutes and 50 seconds but of course we've had a quite a stoppage there because of Rachel Doonan going down but she looks okay and the restart is going to start deep inside the Cavan half Cavan leading Monaghan by three points as Cora Courtney just walking off there so she has about nine and a half minutes now to spend in the sin bin but Monaghan have reacted okay it's with Murren Atkinson laying off possession. One here by the full forward, Kira McInesby, but just no space inside. Having to be really, really patient. Picked up here by Ellen McCarn. She goes short and lateral to Lauren Gartland. Inside here into the Cavan 13 metre line, but the blue and white of funnel 12 bodies behind the ball, Ellen McCarn just trying to get a little bit of space ah, oh, that's a superb score from McCarn, dissecting the post the white flag goes up, we are back to a two point game and as I outlined in the first half McCarn did miss a couple but it is a wonderful sign in a player when they are still not afraid to take on the shot and just showing all our class with that one have Monaghan turned this one over, they certainly have, player goes to ground it's Lauren Gartland, so free to Monaghan. Monaghan with all the momentum now. Three in a row for the Farney ladies. The ball is played in sight, but Cavan getting back on Mass. Oh, and the referee says the Monaghan forward over carry possession there. So, And it's Rosemary Courtney not saying anything to the referee on this occasion. So Cavan trying to launch an attack now deep inside their own half. Monaghan pressing high and doing really well and it has been successful super work there from Kira McInesby laying off possession to Ellen McCarn got a score just a couple of seconds ago back to Rosemary Courtney she looks up she'll take on the shot but her shot is half half blocked and it's won here now by Elaine Walsh a pulsating contest remember if this one was to finish level we would have extra time, even though it is a round-robin competition. There has to be a winner on the day. Long ball comes in there, and the referee says the player that went, she kicked it, that there was a foul come in there, so it's going to be a free to Cavan just inside their own half. But just as I was saying, if this one ends up level after the 60 minutes, we will have extra time, 10 minutes each way. And if it's level after that, we will go to 30 metre kicks I don't think anybody <laughs> wants that we saw enough of that as kick comes in there from Cavan's Kira Finnegan starting as a substitute one here by Ashling Sheridan has support if she wants it from Ashling Gil Sinan she strikes that one high she strikes that one truly the Cavan supporters just below us here in the press box they love that one and that just to stop the Monaghan momentum who have it's hard to contend, have been the better team in the second half and yet we are going for a water break so a quarter of an hour remaining 
That point there from Ashling Gil Sinan reduces or uh, extends Cavan's lead rather to three points, and both sides will be taking on plenty of fluid. Match played at such a tempo. If you're just tuning into the live stream, I just want to reiterate some of the results over the weekend, and it will have ramifications for both these sides. Remember, in the four groups, this group had four teams, Armand Mayo, Cavan and Monaghan. And uh, the top two teams from each group go through to the quarterfinals. And in this group, Group 1, it's Armagh and Mayo. And Armagh go through as group winners. Earlier on today, they defeated Mayo by 3-14 to 12 points. So Mayo come runners-up. And the losers of this will go into the relegation semi-finals in Group 2. Last night, Meath won 18. Tipperary, 7 points. So Cork and Meath are through to the quarterfinals. While Tipperary will enter the relegation playoffs and earlier on today Waterford overcame Tyrone in group three Dublin already had that group one so Tyrone will go into the relegation playoffs and uh, just a while ago in Tume Stadium of course Galway were already group winners and Donegal will join them in the last eight and Kerry will go into the relegation semi-final relegation semi-finals and just a reminder only one team will drop down to the intermediate grade. So, Tipperary, Tyrone, Kerry, who will be joining them? A huge 15 minutes or so for both these sides. That's the end of the water break. I think that one went just over the minute mark as well. And the restart will be with Monaghan's goalkeeper, Edel Corrigan. As Referee Gavin Finnegan just sorting out his watch. And Corrigan goes sharp at Cavan pressing high doing rail. It's with Ashling. Sheridan is can put the Breffney ladies. Four points up once again, but that one just goes to the right of the post. But that was good work there from Sheridan. That's Cavan's fourth wide. Monaghan with eight in total. Only one though in the second half, seven in the first. 30 minutes, one deep here by Laura McEnany laying off possession Number of Monaghan players inside making a run but they're going to decide, decide and try and run through the middle, good work there from Lauren Jones, she goes so short to Casey Trainer. Um, holding on to possession now is Laura McEnany, but the referee is up his arm, so we're going to come back for a free kick and a free kick to Monaghan. And the chance to bring this back to a two point game. But this one will be about 24 25 metres out from goal. Spectators, just like the players, taking on plenty of water here as well. 17 and a half minutes gone, so about 12 and a half minutes of normal time remaining as. Ellen McCarn stands over this one. She will no doubt try and steal a yard like every player who hits freeze. And well, she's hit that one really well as well. Just strokes that one over notulently. And that's a really good score. And we are back once again to a two-point game. Cavan 11 points. Monaghan 9 points. Possession will be key from all these kickouts. As this one goes high risk for possession, are Cavan able to keep it in? They're not. The Lions woman on this near side, Gronya Sands from Glen and County down. Uh, just instructing to the Monon player there. Murren Atkinson, where to take it from, just outside the Cavan 45 metre line. Monon have left five players inside, but that's not Atkinson's best ever line ball, and it was cut out by Kira. Finnegan, Cavan now try and launch an attack. They've left two forwards inside. It is it was uh, Catherine Dolan in possession, but she loses it. Monaghan let off the hook there from that sideline ball. 18 minutes and 47 seconds gone here in the second half. Referee is up his arm. Going to be a free and a free to Monaghan. Good work there from Ellen McCarn, but Monaghan lose it once again. And it's cut out here by 
Mona Sheridan had a terrific first half doing a Trojan amount of work all over the park with the cabin corner back now Rachel Dunan chipping off possession to the captain Laura Fitzpatrick now it's in the arms of Catherine Dolan she gets it away to the corner back Rachel Dunan just breaking into the Monaghan half that is superb work there from Geraldine Sheridan she races into the Monaghan 21 metre line and the referee says she over carries possession just looking down below me here I can see the Cavan substitutes not too happy with that one but it's going to be a free to Monaghan just inside their own half uh, one here by Rosemary Courtney but she's going to kick it back Monaghan now just up to her right hand side have left three forwards inside while there are five Cavan defenders there are we going to see just Grania Sands our official here on this side referee's assistant just having a word with the referee not sure what she's seen but we will wait and see she's just over now to have a chat with her fourth official it's over time his name is Declan Coulter so Monaghan now in possession in the Cavan 45 metre line Cavan on this near side trying to funnel loads of bodies back and very surprised that both teams are not exhausted at this stage picked up here by Murren Atkinson won that school's A title with our ladies Castle Blaney of course they had many tussles with Loretto Cavan down through the years as Sean Quite from Latin lays off possession goes short back to Murren Atkinson who finds a full forward Kira McInespy but there's just absolutely no space inside for Lauren Jones back to the midfielder Monaghan just trying to carve an opening this is one player who can always find space now it's with Lauren Gartland from the Donamoyan club back to Kira McInespy now they'll take on the shot uh, is it from Kira McInespy she go, goes high or is it McCarn that took in the shot impossible to see the numbers and the, the sun just beaming down on the pitch here so my apologies about that one as the strike comes in and there's a Cavan player down now injured so we have another stoppage around nine and a half minutes of normal time remaining but we've had a couple of stoppages in the second half so we could see up to three or four minutes added on of course there's a shot clock but uh, there is none here in Kingspan Breffney Park the pitch just immaculate and I'm just as I said a number of times so surprised both teams just how they are not out on their feet being played at such a pace and a huge, huge couple of minutes for both these sides and both management teams. You could hear at half time just outside the dressing rooms, both managers going through their instructions. Uh, the Cavan player still down, and my apologies, just can't see her at the moment with the referee and uh, the medic just in front of her. So, yeah, it looks like Cavan are going to have to make a substitution. So, and look, they do have a strong bench. It'll be interesting to see who they bring off. Player just limping off there. And it looks like it is going to be number 21 who will come into this one. Emma Halton just warming up there. So... Very interesting to see how she gets on. Monaghan warming up a couple of substitutes as well. Yeah, Emma Halton, and I think is it. Number twelve, Kieran Finnegan, replaced by number twenty-one, Emma Halton. Yeah, as so, Cavan down to. Well. Yeah, I think it's number 12, is it? Yeah, and Kira Finnegan, she was just on the pitch and limping there quite heavily. Looks to be in a little bit of distress. We hope she is okay. And Emma Halton has come on. My apologies. As I said, a number of times, it's impossible to see the numbers, even some of the players' faces, because just the way the sun is just beam, beaming down onto the pitch here. Some grounds are like that and we're quite far away from the action as Cavan come up the far side racing into the Monaghan 30 metre line the ball now is in the arms of Ashling Sheridan lays off possession here's the substitute getting her first touch so early as Cavan come forward but the shot is blocked here back to Emma Halton her second possession and she's only on the field 
a couple of seconds. Cavan now trying to go four points to the good. That one is kicked high. The referee had up the arms for advantage. I think it's is it Lauren McVitie with the score. That one goes high. And that really is a super, super score. So Cavan extend their lead. Just over six minutes of normal time remaining. Cavan 12 points, Mona 9 points. Three point lead for the Cavan ladies. It's with Murren Atkinson now sprinting into the Cavan 45 metre line. Goes back to her fellow midfielder, Cora Courtney, who finds Casey Trainer, but possession is lost. And well, we talk so much about the water breaks, how it can you know, stem the momentum in a match. And Monan had the momentum before the water break, but Cavan have now kicked on once again with Neve Kinahan trying to get around her marker there. Lays off possession wisely to Ashton Kinahan. Never afraid to take on a shot, and that's why. It's because she normally finds the target when she goes for it. That one straight between the posts. A super, super score from Cavan. As that is excellent work there. Ashley Gilson and we have got a substitute on the on the Monaghan scene. And it's Casey Trainer wearing number 13, making way for Jodie McQuillan. Led to believe she only sat her leaving cert a couple of months ago. Still a minor and so many awards already. Ulster Ladies All-Star as well so what a talent she is and uh, fresh legs so key in a frantic game like this so two quick scores for Cavan and they are back into a four point lead always able to keep their opponents at arm's length Geraldine Sheridan now picks up possession here's the substitute Emma Halton lays it off to Ashling Sheridan this would be a huge score for Cavan if this one goes over the umpires deliberate for quite some time and from our vantage point it looked over but that is completely irrelevant it goes to the left and wide it remains Cavan 13 Monaghan 9 but that was good word work from Cavan and they press high on the kick out and it's paid dividends because they've over turned possession the referee says it was a pass inside was illegal so just a number of things happening here at both ends of the pitch just trying to keep an eye on things on the right hand side as well but it's going to be all that matters is it's going to be a free to Monaghan deep inside their own half referee going to have a word I think with the umpires umpires just having a little bit of a conversation first and now Gavin Finnegan is going to go in I have to say I was following the play so didn't see what was happening the ball is in the arms of Monaghan's number four Aoife McInespe so it'll be very interesting to see what happens here see some supporters just below me here in the stand here in Kingsman Breffney Park they're just nodding their head as well there's just a little bit of confusion here so will play resume with Eva McInespe or will something or is the referee going to book anybody no it doesn't look like he is he doesn't seem to be in a huge hurry either so we're going to yeah so the umpire's clearly saying they didn't see anything so the restart is taken here Monaghan want to get on with this one quickly they are getting into the stage here where they need a goal. They certainly do. It's with Jennifer Duffy breaking through, but Cavan have overturned it with Shauna Lynch. Goes long. A superb ball into Geraldine Sheridan, wearing number 14. Turns one way, then she kicks, and that's right, goes to the right and wide. That's Cavan's sixth wide. As the restart going to be taken here by Edel Corrigan. Wanted to get on with it quickly. We've about a minute and a half of normal time remaining, but I would imagine we could have up to four or five minutes extra. Monaghan are in the territory now where they need a goal, but it's Cavan. They've really dominated, dominated since the uh, end of the water break. It's with Cavan's corner back now, Murren Smith with the player now wearing number 13 Neve Kinnahan but numbers mean nothing nowadays in terms of positions 
and Kinahan has won a free deep inside her own half and naturally enough she's in no hurry to take this one she's going to go straight down the middle good running there from Ashling Sheridan trying to take on her opponent Nicola Fahey darting into the Monaghan 30 meter line having of a number of players making run on one of them is the corner back the referee's arm goes up and it's Rachel Doonan who gets in the strike. She puts that one over. Cavan supporters love that one. That was excellent work there from the cornerback. And don't think the is the referee going to bring this back for a free? I think he had that hand up for advantage. So I'm surprised that he's not letting that score count. And yeah, it's going to be a free to Cavan. Some of the Cavan supporters. Not too happy with that one. OK, you would expect expect Ashling Gilsinen to put this one over the bar, but that was wonderful work there from the cornerback, Rachel Doonan. Loves to break forward and just always just creeps up. She seems to always be in the right place at the right time. So Ashling Gilsinen with a chance here to put Cavan four points to the good. And it's at the stage now. I'm on and we're going to need not just one goal, but two goals. We've played the 30, but we'll have a couple of nine minutes added on. It looks like Monaghan are going to be in the relegation semi-finals. And Cavan will be safe. Of course, the losers of the senior will be going in. The team that's relegated from the senior rather would be playing intermediate next year. It's with the Monaghan full back. They want to get on with things really quickly. Nicola Fahey laying off possession there to Lauren Gartland, who goes short also. Cavan now getting a total of 13 bodies inside their own half. Just minutes remaining in this one. Rosemary Courtney now in possession, trying to break into the Cavan 21 metre line, but they're out near the sideline. One here by Kira McInespy. No way forward. Has to go back to the substitute, Jody McQuillan, holding on to possession. Making a run is Aoife McInespy. Back to Kira McInespy. Thought about the shot there, just at the edge of the D. Now it's with Lauren Jones. She's also outside the D. She goes short. Some players just going to the ground there. One of them now trying to work a goal at the, this stage. That's what they need, and they need two of them with Murren Atkinson back to the wing forward. Laura McEnany, well, she's going to take on the point, put that one over. As we're going to have a substitute on the Monaghan team. Neve Brennan, yeah. uh, Lauren Jones. So, Neve Brennan coming into the fray here, replacing Lauren Jones. Just looking below us here, on just off the sideline, Kira Finnegan. She was only on the pitch, what, five, six minutes, and she went off injured. So, huge disappointment there for the wing forward. So, Neve Brennan is on the Monaghan team. Lauren, Lauren Jones, rather, makes way. Monaghan need a goal and a point. They definitely don't have enough time for four points. It's with their wing forward, Laura McEnany, getting possession off to Cora. Courtney finds her fellow midfielder, Murren Atkinson. Good work here from the Monaghan forwards. Oh, it's a pair pass inside. Oh, there's a chance here of a goal. But the strike comes in high. And that was excellent. Some beautiful, intricate passing there from the Monaghan forwards. And eventually the ball was played through to Lauren Gartland. And she puts that one high. So it's back to three points. And it's going to be at the discretion now of the referee we've played three minutes over so well I said Monaghan needed two goals they just need one now they have three points two points rather in quick succession so back to a three point game and Cavan have overcarried it so it's going to be a free and a free to Monaghan Cavan now desperate to hang on it's Momentum is continuously shifted in this contest with Shauna Coyle. She go. She puts the ball inside, but it goes to the left and wide right as the referee looks at his watch once again. Will this be the last kick out? Monin have completely pressed up on it. Cavan have just left two players in the Monin 21. They've also a player in the Monin 45. So Cavan now with 
12 bodies behind the ball and as we've seen right throughout this contest both sides struggling when the opposition goes with the full high press possession will be key here and it's with the ladies who have all the momentum at the moment and that is the ladies from the Farney County who always show great heart this player epitomises that Elm McCarn laying off possession lovely move are we back to oh well we're back to a two point game and I said a couple of minutes ago that they cannot possibly rescue this in a point spot that's another one that's three in quick succession we are now back to a two point game a goal now for Monaghan would actually win it for them and it's Lauren Gartland again she has had such an impressive last couple of minutes and Cavan have given away the kick out a chance of a goal here for Monaghan's full forward oh I don't believe it a goal for Monaghan a goal for Kira Mack NSB and Monaghan lead this contest Cavan cannot believe it unbelievable finish here this tie in Kingspan Brefney Park well what do I know <laughs> thought, everyone I think thought this game was dead and buried Cavan led by five but Monaghan have kicked one three in a couple of minutes and now lead by a point remarkable stuff with Shauna Lynch now it's Cavan now who need the scores but Monaghan have overturned it once again and they're in possession can they take a two point lead here is Laura McEnany had such an impressive uh, last six or seven minutes also and Armona now going to take a two point lead oh this is an unbelievable finish here to this one and it's Jodie McQuillan the substitute she fires that one over and well just shows you you just never know in Gaelic football we have went now almost six minutes over and it's Cavan now who need a goal but as we've said so many times uh, just the kickouts are so difficult to get away and well what a finish Monaghan thought they were dead and buried but incredible heart as you'd always expect from any Monaghan team and referee given a yellow card there to a Monaghan player she is making way so I don't think she minds too much at this, this stage Kevin and Kevin funneling bodies back it's Monaghan now leading by two Monaghan won 13 Kevin 14 points Kevin's Ashling Sheridan in possession trying to break through a couple of Monaghan challenges gets it off to the corner forward Neve Kinahan she goes short to Rachel Dillon up attacking back to or Rachel Doonan my apologies there is a full time whistle Monaghan are safe for another year it is Cavan who lose and they just fall to their feet they cannot believe it Monaghan one goal and 13 points Cavan 14 points a two point win for the Farney ladies well incredible who could have foreseen that a couple of minutes ago Monaghan win by two it looked for all the world like Cavan were not just winning but cruising the victory leading by 14 points to nine literally with I think six seven minutes left and Monaghan hitting one three in the last couple of minutes remarkable finish to this contest and there you have it so Cavan will go into the relegation semi-finals while Monaghan are safe and well the Cavan team just down to the right hand side with their arms up in their head they just cannot believe how this one has finished but great credit to Monaghan they really just did hang in there as I said what you'd expect from any Monaghan team and Cavan just look absolutely shattered players now just shaking hands with each other just played at a frantic pace uh, and really really when I say difficult conditions because just it was so so warm here in Kingspan Brefney Park so that's it so Monaghan are safe and Cavan going to the relegation semi-finals where they will join Tipperary Tyrone and Kerry so that's it for um this superb encounter in group one round three of the 
TG Cahar All Ireland Senior Football Championships. My thanks to Mick Bracken on camera and Rory O'Brien who does such a wonderful job producing and directing these games. We hope you enjoyed the stream. Well, I doubt if you're a Cavan supporter you enjoyed those last couple of minutes, but Monaghan, they will be delighted. It has been a good, good outing for them. They looked dead and buried, but they came back from the dead. A goal and three points in the last couple of minutes. They are safe. Cavan wins the relegation semi-finals. That's it from Kingspan, Brefney Park. It finished in a full-time score here. Monaghan, one goal and 13 points. Cavan, 14 points.